anything else. So I had a student ask me a question about um, section 5.3, number two. And this is a great question to ask because you will have one like this on your exam. Um, so I'm gonna give you a graph, something similar to this. When you see a graph like this, you need to automatically think about its end behavior. What are these arrows pointing at? Okay, they're both pointing towards negative infinity. Whether you're going towards positive infinity or negative infinity with your x, the f of x is pointing towards negative infinity. When you have something like this, that means that your a, your a is going to be a negative number and your k or your, um, your exponent, let's put it as p, your power, your power is going to be an even. All right, because if it was pointing both pointing up, it would be a positive and even because they're both pointing down, your your degree has to be an even number. So it's at least a two, probably more than that, based on the fact that we've got multiple turn turning points here. So let's look at that as well. We've got one, two, three turning points. Okay, with three turning points, we know the max turning point is equal to the degree minus one, all right? So we have three turning points here. I can find my degree, I'm just calling it a big D. It's usually a one, but we'll just do that. So I'm gonna add one to both sides. And that means that my degree is at least a four, okay? We already knew it was even, so it's at least a four. Now I can come along <clears throat> and find my zeros. All right, my zeros are at negative four and x equals negative three and x equals one, all right? X equals negative four is odd, the multiplicity, as is x equals negative three because it is crossing through the x-axis. Because at x equals one, it is bouncing off of it. That means it has to be an even. So the exponent's gonna be at least a two. Up here, the exponents are at least a one, all right? To change these from x equals negative four and x equals negative three and one to what we need for our parentheses, all you have to do is take them and set them both, set them all equal to zero. So take the x equals negative four, and set it equal to zero. Add four to both sides. So x equals positive four. I'm sorry, good Lord, good Lord. X plus four, I was not thinking about that. X plus four is equal to zero. All right, so x plus four is one and it's odd. So we're just gonna leave it with a, a one uh, exponent for the power. X equals negative three. Let's set it equal to zero by adding three to both sides. So x plus three is equal to zero. And it's odd as well, so I'm going to leave it as one. And then x equals one, we're going to set it equal to zero. So x minus one equal to zero. When you do that, this one's even, so it has to be at least a two. Okay, let's check our degrees for this polynomial where we're at right now. We've got an x, we've got an x, and both of those have powers of one, and then we've got an x that's squared. So our degree is x to the fourth right now. And that's great because that's the least degree we can have for this polynomial. And the next piece of this is to find a, all right? So I'm gonna take exactly what I've got here and I'm going to use the y-intercept. The y-intercept is at zero, negative three. And I'm going to use this as my x and my y. Remember that f of x, your function is y. So where the y is, I'm gonna put negative three. Where each of the x's are, I'm gonna put zero. All right, now I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna map it. Uh, zero plus one is one, zero plus three is three, zero minus one is negative one squared. Be careful with this y'all because if you just put this in your calculator as negative one squared, and we've talked about this at almost every class, you're going to get negative one. You've got to use parentheses, but you should already know that negative one squared is just one. So these are both ones. So we've got three A is equal to negative three. Divide both sides by three. And A is equal to negative one. All right, so final answer. This function is negative. I don't need to put the one there. X plus one, X plus three, 
and x minus 1 squared. That is the polynomial. All right. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Happy to do so.